As we look to work and live further out into space, it's important to understand how the human body and the biological systems that are on and around us are responding to that environment. That information will allow us to keep astronauts safe and healthy. So GeneLab is an effort to maximize the reuse of precious spaceflight experiments. Um, GeneLab does this through a data system that allows anyone to download and analyze these data sets. Spaceflight experiments are unique because the spaceflight environment is unique. For example, the long duration weightlessness we have on the International Space Station and the radiation environment inside the station are two things that we cannot duplicate in detail on Earth. So if you want to understand the broad question of how biology responds to spaceflight, it's really important to sample biological diversity. We have data from humans, mice, fruit flies, worms, fish, squid, microbes, plants. Uh, it really runs the gamut of biological diversity. What's remarkable about uh, GeneLab is the effort to take these very rare, precious spaceflight experiments and to maximize the, the knowledge that we're getting from, from that. And we do that through providing the data in a curated fashion that's easy to use, um, putting it in context of other data sets, and then bringing a community together to actually analyze that data and come up with new discoveries. Data in GeneLab are important for the Artemis mission and going forward to Mars because they tell us how living systems respond to spaceflight. And we need that information to keep the crew healthy and performing well. So as we move forward to the moon and on to Mars, we're going to need a base of knowledge from which to make decisions that will keep astronauts safe. So GeneLab provides that. It's a foundation of knowledge that can be analyzed to answer a number of different questions related to how biological systems respond to space.